right, guys. So it looks like Kevin O'Connor has some news as far as how Wimbanyama is being viewed currently around the NBA. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, so this shouldn't be a long video by any means, okay? Not 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 a long video at all. Um, one thing I want to bring up just really quickly is, guys, I'm doing a giveaway uh, for a Wimbanyama pop figure. Just go back a few videos. Uh, it literally, the thumbnail literally shows giveaway on it. Um, and I give you the instructions, super easy on what to do, but I give you the instructions on what to do in that video. You just have to leave something in the comments. So if you guys are interested in that, please head on over to that. It's, it's just me giving back because 15K, like, we got the 15k i i i actually feel like a legitimate youtuber kind of not really i don't know couldn't do this full time but hey it is, it is what it is all right let's take a look at what kevin o'connor has to say what do you think san antonio's priorities are entering this offseason and building around victor Wembenyama? i think they want to win everything that i hear is that they want to be competitive next year they want to be in the playoffs and so they're not looking to make this you know like a, a two three year process where they you know they're in the lottery again next year they're trying for cooper flag they're tanking games at the end i don't think that that's something that i mean maybe that ends up being what happens but i think by the way i i completely understand what he's saying here yeah it, it would be very similar this year i don't think the spurs came into this season thinking oh yeah we're gonna lose or we're gonna tank because a lot of people try to use that as an excuse like oh the spurs are tanking right now no they're not tanking we're just that bad right um we can't expect Wimbanyama, a rookie to come in and just save the day and then you even the best players on our team are still learning right like jeremy sohan is nowhere near where he needs to be nor is he uh where you know we we want him to be where we expect him to eventually be so he's a young player and then Devin Fassell is just now really coming into his own I mean maybe last season you can count last season but he was hurt so he's really coming into his own now so yeah it, it, it just happened it was just circumstances that made us not uh be as good as as we wanted to be so I I, I understand this for right now they want to be competitive next year and that's why i think they're going to be aggressive with that you know with those picks four and eight maybe looking to trade for a veteran you know like is a guy like darius garland is he is he someone that they look at i mean there's been a lot of chatter about that and i, I, I expect that they're going to look at i've heard that like really nobody on their roster is untouchable except for victor and devin vassell and so they you know they they, they have some pieces there that they could possibly look to move and uh, future picks also I hear that Jeremy Sohan actually was asked about so um, at, at some point but you know they didn't go go along with it so so I don't think that um, they're gonna be happy if they're you know picking fourth in a year from now again I mean the truth is it's like I think the best fit for all of these prospects is probably Victor Webanyama right definitely and every every free agent every all the veteran guards that are gonna be in the market <laughs> they all want to play with Victor there you go all right there you go so yeah so as much as i love and i'm, I'm totally cool with it I, I said this before i am going to do a big board in which we talk about like what players i personally will want in this upcoming draft because i have not done that uh yet and i think that would be a cool thing to do um before we get to the draft but with that being said um yeah like we love dilly we want dilly here but at the same time if the spurs were to go after darius garland I don't really see a point in doing that at all. At that point, maybe you can get Castle, a, a great defender, get Ron Holland, who's also a great defender. Buzelis, I really like Buzelis. He's a good uh, help defender. Uh, I, I just I just don't really see the point. I, I don't think Dilly would really have a spot. Um, and I'm starting to believe that the Trey Young stuff is, at first, you know, it was a real reality. Now it's starting to be more and more dim um, due to the tra draft positioning of the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, so it, it seems like the circumstances are a little bit different now and I don't know if the Atlanta Hawks are going to be able to be finessed once again I mean that's a really bad look for us to just give them their picks back maybe another first and, and then you give us Trey Young that that's probably not going to be the case right um, they're going to ask for quite a bit and yeah that that's that's not gonna <clears throat> that's not gonna fly with with the Spurs um, it is interesting that Kevin O'Connor said that Devin Fassell is one of the um, untouchables uh, well, saying that Wimby and Devin Fassell package deal, they, these are the untouchables. That's very interesting to me because um, I would have assumed that it was the big three, right? V Victor Wimbayama, Devin Fassell, and Jeremy Sohan. But I do know that Sohan was asked about um, from the Atlanta Hawks 
but you know nothing nothing came came out of that so they didn't really want to move any of our players so it is what it is uh, i guess i guess we'll you know time will tell but i think it's going to be really difficult for anybody to get their hands on jeremy sohan um you know you guys know that i'm the biggest sohan fan in the world uh the, i mean i'm i'm the bigger fan of wimby but i'm, I'm a big sohan fan I, I i really do believe in what he brings uh, to San Antonio, what he brings to the team. And I do think he's a really good defender uh, analytically. I think he's a really good defender. I mean, it's right there. Uh, but, you know, if, if if something were to come up that makes us a better team and that would require trading Sohan, I'm, I'm with it. But I just think that he is a position that we filled. Uh, he feels it pretty well. And I think that we can kind of build upon that. And if the Spurs can manage to get a Darius Garland, you know, trade away their eighth, you know, keep our fourth, trade away our eighth and get someone like that. I think that's a pretty doggone good because he's a player that we just kind of wish a Dillingham would be able to reach that level of, right? So um, maybe I think what's really coming, what it's coming down to is people that get a little irritated with what I have to say about Darius Garland. I think that what it, what it really is, is I just think more highly of him than a lot of people. I know that recency bias is also a thing as far as uh, the playoffs and everything, but I, I truly do believe in, in his talent. And, um, you know, I'm not a guy that's just gonna go merely off of statistics, um, but every time I've seen him play, I, I like his game. And I think he could bring a lot to the San Antonio Spurs. And on all facets of the game, he's better than, than Dilly, you know? But like I said, if the Spurs don't do anything that's totally cool, um, I'll be so for getting Dillingham. I'll be so for getting uh, Castle. I'll be so for getting uh, Holland. Like I'm, I'm cool with it. it. It's, it's a, it's a really nice thing going on because I don't really think the Spurs can really screw this up. I mean, you have to be pretty creative to screw this up. I mean, everything is in their court. Everything is on their court for them to make the right uh, move or or just a good potential potential move, right? You got the fourth pick, you got the eighth pick, you got so much, you know, draft capital. I mean, you you have you have everything that you could wish for, um, as far as trying to make something happen. Uh, the Spurs don't have to be overly aggressive, uh, but from what Kevin O'Connor is least saying or what he's hearing is that hey, the Spurs do want to be competitive, they do want to make the playoffs this year. Um, I'm gonna stick by my guns on this one. You know, maybe things will change once we see more and more. Uh, trades but if i'm just going based off of hey we go through the draft we don't make any huge trades uh, we might get a veteran here or two but no like star veteran uh i don't think the spurs are a playoff team uh I, I think i won't say that they're far from it i think they're just a couple years out from that uh but i do think that they could potentially be a play-in team um without any of the extra uh let's bring in a star and let's do all that stuff like i i just don't see this team it, it, it just how difficult the West is. If we were in the East, it'd be a different story. But how difficult the West is, I do not see this team being any anywhere near. Um, well, not I won't say anywhere near. It's like I said, a couple years. But I just this season, I, I don't see that they're they're good enough to to make that make that jump into to playoffs. But um, it will be a lot on Wimby, and we would be expecting Wimby to make a gigantic jump, which is possible, right? The guy's a sponge. He's a freaking sponge, so it is possible. But. Um, but yeah, those are those are my thoughts on that. Really good video here from uh, Kevin O'Connor. Um, pretty sure this is off of off of TikTok, uh, but who posted it? Just to give some shout outs. Is ooh, excuse me, my God, uh, Wimby Muse. Uh, so shout out to Wimby Muse for posting this. Um, but yeah, good stuff, good stuff there, my boy. Anyways, I will give it to you guys later, man. Until next time, bye, bye, bye.